Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna update the Shove Gigbar ILS's firmware. So I've had several people ask me and even a viewer pay me to do it, but to add the Shove Gigbar ILS into the SoundSwitch shortcut. And SoundSwitch is a DMX lighting control software and the shortcut is just a preset pack that I sell that you can purchase that just has some popular fixtures that kind of have some design and the lights are kind of all coordinated together and so that you can just plug and play even faster. And a lot of people have the Shova Gigbar ILS and they kind of want that light fixture to work with their uplights, their tubes, their other movers. Yeah, thank you to Jonathan Marriott for lending me a gig bar move or two because I like to program using a visualizer, but some of these all-in-one bars are more difficult because you have to use attribute keys to program it. And you just don't know what those actually are unless you actually have the fixture. So having it in person is immensely helpful. So I actually started programming the Shove Gigbar ILS into the shortcut, and then I quickly realized that backwards compatibility with the DMX profiles was not a priority for Shove. The original Gigbar move, the non-ILS version, had a 35 channel mode. Then the first Gigbar move ILS had a 50 channel mode. Then with the firmware update, it updated to 46 channels. And now with the latest firmware version, the EU version has 52 channels and the US version, which I'm not quite sure the difference, but this is the one I'm gonna use since I'm based in the US, has 51 channels. You know, I work in software, so I understand that you wanna ship the product and then release new features and functionality incrementally. Like when they first shipped it out, like the laser was limited to one pattern, and now with this latest firmware version that has like various different patterns you can control. That's great. But they changed the DMX profile so much. You know, I'm not an engineer over at Chauvet, so I don't know like why these decisions were made. I'd be super curious to know why, but it's a nightmare from an end user standpoint. So my shortcut is only gonna support the latest version of the firmware at the time of making this video. So Jonathan asked me to update it to the latest firmware version, and it's usually a good idea to update your firmware versions of your lights because you get more functionality. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. So if Shovey does anything right, they have a really easy to use and beautiful website. So props to them for that. But we go to the ILS page and you go to the Gigbar Move ILS software download and there's a URL. Hey, and look, they have their own GitHub with the firmware for like a bunch of different lights. Yeah, as a software guy, I mean, this is very familiar, very cool. So there's some instructions. So you're gonna need a USB drive and this is kind of, you're gonna to have to format it, which means erasing everything on it. And you're gonna to have to format it to FAT32, and it can't be too big, it can't be over 32 gigs. So I just have like this four gigabyte one I found laying around. So this is a Windows machine, so it may be slightly different with a Mac. Okay, here's my flash drive. Let's just delete this photo booth template from a past wedding. Okay, let's right click it. Let's click format, FAT32. Okay, it's already in FAT32. So let's go ahead and download this. All right, so we click on Gigbar Move ILS, click the download file. All right, I have it right here. It says this .chl file. Okay, let's go ahead and extract all. Extract it onto my flash drive, my empty flash drive. that's formatted it with FAT32. Okay, I exported this file. Okay, let's go to our Gigbar. All right, here's my Gigbar Move ILS on top of a tripod. Here is the firmware update USB drive. And I recommend you put this on top of a tripod because when it turns on, it'll do some mover calibration process and it makes a weird noise if it's inside of its case. Here's my USB drive. I'll need it in just a moment. It's loaded. So before I update it, I just want to draw attention to the fact that right now it's on 2.8. Let's go ahead and turn it off again. Hold down the menu button, then plug it in. Notice that it's in this unique menu. This is the boot up menu. So let's go ahead and plug in this USB drive. And now that's doing like a bunch of stuff. All right, we've installed the new firmware. There you go, 2.10. So pretty easy to do the update. Not entirely related to updating the Gigbar Move ILS firmware, but related to the topic of this video, the SoundSwitch official fixtures have been able to keep up with all of these new firmware updates. So you have to check the public folder and there's a few 51 channel versions that were pretty good, but none of them had a great workflow for those four strobes. So I created this one that you can use too. 
but it will my feelings if you choose to use another one. The link in the description below to learn more about the SoundSwitch shortcut, and I'll go over programming the Gigabar Move ILS in SoundSwitch in another video. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns down below. Happy life designing.